Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the basic features of Movie Plus X5. I'm going to show you how to import your media, I'm going to show you how to put it onto your timeline, and I'm going to show you a few basic editing techniques that you can use to create your first movie. So the first thing we need to do is import our media. Um, you can do that using the import media button, but I prefer the uh, simple drag and drop technique. Um, I'm going to import a, a thing that I made for um, a previous tutorial in Flash. Now all I need to do is click and drag it into the uh, media bar. You can see that after a short time the video loads up a little thumbnail. If you click on it it will play and you can do a few editing things in there as well. I'm also going to add um, just a sound clip uh, that I want to use as well. Okay, So now that I've got my clips in place and my uh, sound file I can just drag and drop these things into place. Now if you've just got a, a simple video or a few clips and you're happy that the clips are already edited down you can use this storyboard mode just to drag your clips into place and add your music but I don't like doing that I find it very kind of um, well let's just say it lacks some features that I like to mess around with so I'm just going to undo those things and show you the timeline view and how to use that now this process is exactly the same I'm just going to drag the video clip down here and I'm going to drag the movie uh, the actual music track down at the bottom here um, now, as you can see, the timeline goes for quite uh, a long time, just over four minutes. I can cut that simply by um, moving my mouse to the edge of the actual clip and then just dragging it across and the whole video uh, will, will clip to that point. Um, if I undo that quickly, I can also change the speed of the video. So for example, um, if I hold down control when I click, you'll notice that the mouse changes to a little arrow with a squiggly line. I can then drag that down and you'll notice that the video clip changes. If I play that, maybe you'll hear it, you'll hear that the voice squeaks a lot because it's compressed the video and also my voice. Okay, so I'm just gonna undo that as well. Now I can also, clip the video in, in a certain place um, and this is why I like using the timeline view. If I go to um, about there, there's a line that indicates a certain section, I can then just click on that split tool and then I can move those things apart or I can blur them together just by taking those two clips and bringing them across each other and you'll notice that one um, will fade in from the other. I'm just going to mute the audio quickly which you can do down here by clicking on those two buttons. And you'll notice that perhaps, the, uh, well, let's make it a bit more obvious. Um, I've got no video, I've got no drawing there, and then the image draws it, um, the image fades in because of the cross lap. Uh, but you've got to be very careful when you do these sort of things because, as you can see, when I clip, clip, uh, clipped the, um, rather cropped the video clip, I also crop the sound as well um, and that can cause you problems so just be careful with that. You can detach the actual sound from the uh, video itself. Um, if you right click on the audio you can also just delete um, that actual layer, oops, wrong thing. Right click on the audio and delete that layer and it deletes the audio track from the video and then in this case now I've only got music and video clips. And that's it, that's a very simple tutorial on how to use Movie Plus X5.